Let's take a quick look at the Omniverse AEC Experience Rhino plugin. Now, when you first install the Omniverse AEC Experience and the associated plugins that come with it, you might see something like this when you launch Rhino. So we have here the plugin tray floating in space. I'm just gonna simply drag that up and dock it with the rest of the tabs I have here in Rhino. Now, with the plugins uh, settings, really the way this is set to work is that we just take this and quickly just one click send to view but i want to go over a couple of the more important icons in here just so we understand what we're working with in here so most notably probably the most important one here if you ever need to change any of the settings is the little gear icon which is our omniverse plugin settings now the only thing that we would really want to change here if you need to right off the bat is the auto sign in so this is if for whatever reason you don't want it to auto sign in or if you do want it to auto sign in uh, we'll take a look at that sign-in icon in a moment. Otherwise, uh, you can customize that or toggle that on or off. Everything else will find its most current install by itself. You don't need to do anything here unless you want to customize that to be using uh, a remote build or on a different server, for example. So nothing needed to be done here. It's going to find our build automatically. Next over is our sign-in option. So that's me. I'm just going to go ahead and click sign-in. If I have that set to automatic, it'll take care of that for me. Now we have an export tab. This is where if we want to export the model separately, not just one click send to view, but be able to export this and be able to work with this in a different manner. Maybe we want to be able to manually import that from a server or save it to a server, whatever it is that we want to be able to do there. Now, so we would just click the green airplane icon just to send over to view. Now, depending on the size of the data set, this can take a minute or two. So for the sake of time, what I'm gonna do is just cut here and jump over to view. So here we are in view. Um, a couple of things to note right off the bat is that by default, we are viewing our model in preview render. We can switch to photo, which was gonna give us much more high resolution course we can dial in some more advanced render settings to bring this up to uh, really high fidelity when we move this it's going to switch to our lowest resolution which is here which is draft we can switch to that at any time if we want to be able to preview our model or view our model in lower resolution we also have the ability to work with it in a white mode so that we can uh, quickly tumble or work around our model as well so i've got it back in photo another thing to note is that because we were signed in in the plugin that we have in Rhino, it has automatically signed me in over here in view. So as it launched view, it also took care of the sign in so that I am also signed in to view as well. So that's taken care of automatically via the plugin. The last thing we want to take a look at is the hierarchy here. So we can see the stage hierarchy. We can see all of the geometry that comes over from Rhino and it comes over as we would expect all the different components that comprise uh, this data set. So there's a quick overview of how the Rhino plugin works for the Omniverse AC experience.